All right, gonna do a quick Falcon update and show off the new quick jack system, um, which I guess I can show my garage too, because I finally got around to, well not got around to, but finished my garage rebuild. So it was a long time coming, but totally worth it. Um, so yeah, I had unfinished ceiling, just uh, trusses up there and unfinished outer walls here. So I went through and um, uh, insulated everything with rolls in the walls and drywall. And the ceiling's got about two feet of blown in insulation and drywall. And everything's painted. Um, yeah, it turned out really nice. LED lights, um, all the cabinets uh, and workbenches are Husky from Home Depot. So I've got kind of motorcycle lift area, some uh, rolling workbenches were really key. These are awesome. And these welded cabinets from Home Depot are great. And room for my parts washer, upgraded the toolbox, finally have room for everything in there. Bike parking, parts storage, my quick jacks hang on the wall there and more storage on the other wall more cabinets yeah it turned out really good so love the garage floor is moto floor from costco which is made by the same people that do race deck and it's a little thinner it's definitely cheaper significantly cheaper um so for me it was a good option you can replace the tiles piece by piece and i'm certain i'll uh, i'll damage some of them but Overall, I'm pretty happy with them. They do get dirty. They kind of collect dust. I mop it every now and then. Um, so they're not bad at all. For the price, they're great, actually. And they handle my really uneven floor well. So um, I'll have to post some pictures or put them in this video or something. But my floor is really uneven. And I poured a bunch of leveling compound and leveled as much as I could. But uh, it's not perfect. But these tiles handle it pretty well. So... Finally got the quick jack put together and hydraulic fluid bled and uh, took a little bit. Works great on the Falcon, even though my floor's a little tilted back here, it levels out this car just fine. Really easy to lift. Um, I'll do a more in-depth video sometime showing how to use it all, but I guess some updates on the Falcon. I haven't shown anything in a long time. Last summer I pinstriped it, or had it pinstriped by Little Dame Pinstripes here in uh, Loveland. Did so the hood, doors, got pinstriping on the panels, the glove box, the dash. Um, there's the trunk. So that turned out really nice. And I think I had the sniper installed in the last video from like a year ago but not timing control, so I'll show that. Um, so here's the quick jacks. On this car with the traction bars at the back, the only way I can fit this to lift is from the subframe connectors, which I've never done before, but I think it's okay. The car's perfectly strong. It's braced all over underneath, and it lifts perfectly well from the back and front of the subframe connectors. Um, and I didn't see any flex or anything, so I think it's a good spot. But these things are awesome. Um, took uh, the bleeding's pretty easy. It's easy to set up. Um, they give you this thread locker, thread sealant compound that didn't work at all. I had to seal most of the thread fittings with um, the PTFE tape uh, to get rid of some pretty big leaks. But after that, works great. Really nice to be able to jack the car up like this. Um, open this up and look not too much has changed back here or up here but I added timing control so this is the um, the hyperspark distributor does not work um, I'm trying to remember with the roller cam because it didn't have a hardened gear I believe so I did the dual sync distributor from Holly which did come with a hardened um, distributor gear so that it was a little more expensive, but it works great. And it has a cam and crank pickup, which I don't need both for this setup, but it's more distributor than I need, but it was the same price as having the gear swapped on the HyperSpark that was cheaper. So, um, 
running the Holly Sniper coil and CD box are both mounted over here. And then I don't think I talked about this either, but I changed the alternator for, I forget now, the modern Ford alternator, um, 3G alternator, I believe. So that's all set up now and wired in. And so now I have excellent charging and much better, um, much better, uh, well, much better charging, but it got rid of interference uh, and unstable voltage issues I was having with uh, causing resets on the sniper. So definitely a nice upgrade. Anyways, I'll do more on this, uh, the car later and on the um, quick jack. But for now, that's an update. See ya.